everybody welcome to Rocco Baby Crochet. I've got a quick stitch tutorial for you here today and we're going to learn the beautiful bead stitch. So this is a reversible stitch so it looks the same on both sides. It makes a lovely thick fabric and it's pretty beginner friendly as well. It's a one row repeat. All you'll need for this tutorial is your chosen yarn and the recommended hook for that yarn. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn and a cuppa and learn the beautiful bean stitch together. So for this stitch you're going to want to make a slip knot and pop that onto your hook. And for the bean stitch your foundation chain needs to be an even number of chains so we're working in multiples of two. I'm just going to do a really small sample here but you'll chain until your work reaches the width that you want it to be at in an even number. You're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. So there's three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. For row one, we're going to do a row of double crochet and we're going to be starting in the second chain from the hook. So if you're going into your work from the front, you're going to count down these Vs and work into this second one first. I prefer to work into my back bump, so I'm counting down the bumps that run down the centre of my chains and here's my second one. So I'm going to place my first double crochet into this second chain. So I'll insert my hook, yarn over, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops and that's your first double crochet placed. We're just going to work along the chain, placing one double crochet into every chain along. So insert your hook into the chain, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then move into your next chain and do exactly the same. If you want to press pause while you work your way across for row one, placing one double crochet in every chain along, Come back to me when you're ready to move up to row two and we can do that together. I've just reached my last chain and I'm placing my very last double crochet into that chain. To move up to row two, you go into chain one and turn your work. Into this first stitch here, we're gonna place a double crochet. So right where our chain one is coming out of, insert your hook into the top of that stitch and place a double crochet and then we're going to skip a stitch and work into the next stitch along and place our first bean stitch so we're skipping this stitch and inserting our hook into the next one along yarning over and pulling up a loop yarn over back into that same stitch and pull up a loop and then one last time yarning over insert back into that same stitch and pull up a loop at this point you'll have six loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook and chain one. Then you'll skip a stitch and into the next stitch along you'll place another bean stitch. So insert your hook into that stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over back into that same stitch and pull up a loop. And for our last time yarn over into that stitch and pull up a loop. Again, you've got six loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all of those loops on your hook and chain one. For row two, we're just going to repeat this all the way across where we skip one, place a bean stitch, skip one, place a bean stitch. So let's do it one more time, skipping the next stitch and into the next stitch along, I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over, back into that same stitch and pull up a loop four loops on my hook and for the last time I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook and pull up a loop. So all together I've got my six loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops and chain one. So if you'd like to go ahead repeating that all the way across for row two, come back to me when you're ready to finish off the row. We'll finish it together and move up to row three together. So I've just placed my last bean stitch and chained one. I'm going to skip one and into my very last stitch, you should have one left over, we're just going to place a double crochet. 
you'll chain one and turn to move up to row three and row three is our repeat row for this pattern so into this first stitch here where your chain one is coming out of you're going to place a double crochet then we're going to skip across and if you pull your work apart slightly you should just be able to see this space here just after the bean stitch that's where you're going to be inserting your hook you're going to pop your hook into that space there yarn over and pull up a loop and we're going to just repeat how we've made all the previous beans so then we'll yarn over go back into that same space and pull up another loop four loops on your hook yarn over back into that space and pull up another loop so now you've got your six loops on your hook you can yarn over and chain one to complete that bean stitch we're just going to then skip across to our next space here so it is easy if you pull your work apart slightly you'll be able to see it and you're going to insert your hook into that space and place your next bean stitch so there's two there's three i've got my six loops yarn over pull through all six and chain one move into my next space and place another bean stitch and you'll just repeat this all the way across if you want to press pause till you come up towards the end of row three and we can finish that off together so i'm just reaching the end of my row i've got one last bean stitch to place here so i'm just going to insert my hook into that space and place my final bean stitch just exactly how i have done for all the other stitches in the row so there's my six loops yarn over pull through all six loops and chain one and then to finish the row off we're just going to place a double crochet into the very last stitch you'll chain one and turn and just repeat row three until your work reaches the height that you want it to be at so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial i hope you love this stitch just as much as i do if you have any questions at all about it then drop me a comment in the comment box below please don't forget to hit like and subscribe it's a free way that you can support the channel and i'll see you real soon for my next tutorial bye